Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Cicada, the directorial debut of Matthew Pfeiffer, uh, which premieres at the 2020 Outfest Film Festival and will be available to stream on the Outfest platform from August 20th through the 24th. Uh, and it's also uh, screening uh, at some drive-in locations in Los Angeles uh, for the very same weekend. Um, it also stars Matthew Pfeiffer as Ben, a uh, New Yorker. It's set in 2013. Uh, the backdrop of the Sandusky trial is pertinent to the narrative. Um, he is a uh, self-described bisexual who, uh, for the first 15 minutes of the film, is going through a montage of he's seeing a woman, but then um, has a, a whole lot of uh, multiple sexual partners in succession, has some conversations with his friends about uh, how his, uh, his inability to kind of find any true meaning or intimacy with anyone. Um, it's also notable that uh, Ben has a very flat uh, emotional affect as well. But then one day while he's uh, at a used bookstore outside, uh, he sees a, a young man named Sam, played by Sheldon D. Brown, uh, who he finds attractive and begins to flirt with him. Um, they end up staying, uh, spending the day together, uh, and when they try to become intimate, uh, it's revealed that uh, Sam has a, a colostomy bag and he puts off being intimate. Uh, eventually when they do have sex, there's actually a very touching scene um, where something happens with the colostomy bag that forces them to go to the laundromat. And, and very quickly they have an intimate bond that grows and we begin to see new dimensions of Ben that we didn't see before. But it also becomes clear um, that this is because of some sexual trauma from his past that is being hinted at, uh, but not, it takes a little bit to, for us to be made quite clear uh, of what happened to him. Uh, meanwhile, Sam has also had some considerable trauma, both physical um, and mental, uh, that is revealed in a, a very uh, eloquently uh, performed monologue. Um, Eventually, it, oh, it's also no, notable that Sam is not out to his father, who's a pastor, uh, which also causes some tension between them. Uh, eventually, uh, ben, uh, Sam convinces Ben to go to therapist, which he does, a uh, very kind of unprofessional therapist, played by Kobe Smulders. But the point of it being that uh, this very unorthodox person uh, is, is, ends up just being the sounding board he needs to reveal uh, what happened to him uh, being molested as a child and uh, taking the journey he needs to um, reach, you know, self-actualization. Uh, that said, it's at the same time as being a uh, narrative of uh, dealing with your own trauma, uh, it's also uh, a rare representation of uh, queer interracial relationships. And while it's not necessarily the focus, uh, it does inform uh, obviously uh, their chemistry and it it doesn't get into it as much as I would even like, but uh, the conversations that uh, gay interracial couples uh, do have uh, is so rarely grappled with in any realistic, authentic way. Um, so, so that and the kind of authentic uh, trauma of a, a victim of childhood sexual abuse just makes for uh, a, a very well-told and sobering uh, narrative, especially for a, a first-time film. Um, and then, of course, the uh, motif of the cicada, which is wrapped up very nicely in the final scene uh, as a, as a uh, pertinent metaphor, of course. Uh, David Burtka is featured in the film, Bowen Yang, uh, Scott Adsit of 30 Rock, uh, Michael Potts as uh, Sam's father also deserves a shout out. Uh, Sheldon D. Brown uh, does a lot of uh, excellent work here for a first time leading role. Uh, he gets a uh, story credit for uh, creating uh, his own character as well. Um, overall, just a very impressive first film. Uh, I would give it three and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.